Good morning. So, I have quite a challenge for myself this morning. Um, I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to get a video out. So I came here to a little nature park, fairly close to my house, and I thought, what could I do that would be kind of interesting? So, I thought what I would do is try to shoot five different birds. Now, I've got nice little power lines. You can see those behind me, but I've also got a pond that's out in the open. There very well could be alligators. But I could find little songbirds, I could find limpkins, ducks, ibis, osprey, little blue herons, there goes a, uh, an ibis, reddish herons, uh, all kinds of, of birds. So, I'm gonna see if I can find five birds. It is seven o'clock in the morning. I'm in Florida and it's 41 degrees, so it's a little chilly, but let's go see what I can find. I just found some limpkins and there's a male trying to woo a female here. There's an osprey flying overhead. I passed some ducks. There was an ibis flying, a couple more hens, and a hinga is out there. Cormorants are out there. So there's lots of birds here. Um, I'm going to see if I can find you some action of these uh, limpkins trying to, to be happy here. I didn't realize all you could see was me in a shadow, but I've got the camera here, right over there is, um, I have to look up what kind of heron, but there's also a grebe, and the heron is, is following the grebe and seeing what the grebe scares up, and then he's just simply chasing the grebe around <laughs> and it's kind of funny so let's see what happens here This is interesting. The sun's behind me, but all this reflective light from the sky, I have to move away from the sun so I don't just get shadows. Um, there's so much wildlife here. So I'm gonna move locations because my lens has a minimal focus distance. And on this Sony 200 to 600, it's horrible. Um, well, I guess in the end it doesn't matter, but it's like 13.6 feet. And these birds are all right at the 13 foot mark. And so I have to manually focus and some of them are too close to even get. I'm gonna go walk around this and see if I can find a, a little different location. The way this boardwalk works, 
I just can't get any further away. So we'll go around. I saw four birds. I got pictures of two of them and I'll show those now, but let's go see what we can find. This is fun. Next time I come out, I've got to remember to bring my 100 to 400 and it focuses a lot closer and I probably don't even need 600 millimeters. kind of hard to do this because the light is pretty bright. He's got one side of his body in the shadows and the other is lit up pretty dang hard, which you can see in the video. But he's pretty comfortable and I'm able to get close. We'll see if he does something interesting I can get a good photo. Oh cool, there's a wood stork over there. An egret, an ibis, a moorhen, a cormorant, a blue heron, a little reddish heron. This is awesome. All right, I had some people come and talk to me. Um, I'm gonna go down, they're walking towards that wood stork and I don't want them to spook it off. So I'm gonna head down there and see what I can find. All right, these wood storks are totally comfortable with me. I'm gonna walk with the GoPro, try not to disturb them, but feel like I'm walking by and show you how close they are. This is this is fun for a birder. <coughs> Ten feet, maybe. little peeved never had that happen before so I've got the Sony a1 it's fairly new I mean we're talking a few months right and I have an Ahinga up there also called the snake bird and he was doing some calls and flapping his wings and doing some cool things and my camera wouldn't turn on and I thought, well, I charged the batteries last night. What the heck's going on? So I removed the batteries, put it back in, and then it powered up. But I'd missed all the cool action. So if anybody else has had an issue with their Sony A1, let me know. It's unacceptable. Wow. I went out to find five birds to photograph, and I think I found about 20. 
what a great day. I love getting up early in the morning and going out. I get my steps in. I get to see Mother Nature and watch her birds. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, look for me next week. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll figure out something between now and then. And I'm super excited that you're coming along with me. So enjoy Mother Nature in her finest, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.